Last lesson, you looked at the required practical in electricity, finding the current potential difference characteristics of an ohmic conductor. Today, it's the same experiment, but you're going to find it for a filament lamp. Now, ohmic conductor means that I is proportional to V. So if you double the potential difference over it, you should double the current over it. A filament lamp is not an ohmic conductor because its resistance changes. OK, so you're going to try and get some results to draw a very similar graph to last lesson, but we're not expecting this one to be a straight line. So we're using the same um, setup as last lesson. Uh, where we are going to have an ammeter uh, instead of an ohmic conductor, which we used a ceramic resistor, we're going to use a filament lamp. We've got our variable resistor again, and we've got our power supply on direct current, so make sure you plugged into those two there. Okay, we've got a voltmeter over there, and what we're trying to do is plot a graph of potential difference against current. And again, like last time, we want, it, we want to have a positive potential difference and a negative potential difference so we can see what happens both sides. Now, a couple of things we can change. We're going to use a 12 volt lamp, so you can actually put this all the way up to 12 volts and it shouldn't overheat, but don't touch the lamp because it could get hot. Um, we've got a lamp here. This is a filament lamp. It has a, um, a filament inside there. That's the one we're going to use. If you're given a lamp like this, it's probably not going to work very well. And the reason is that this lamp has got quite a high resistance. It's actually a better lamp because it doesn't use as much energy than this one. But this will have a really low current going through it. So when we're measuring the current with the ammeter, this one's not going to give you a very easy to understand result. So make sure that you've got one of the larger filament lamps. Uh, on the actual base of the lamp there, it should say, uh, it should have a little bit of writing printed in, and it should say 12 volts and 24 watts. They're the ones you want to use, because as you'll work out later on in the uh, unit, that means we, we should have two amps going through it when it's at, um, at 12 volts. That's a, a pretty good uh, thing to be able to measure on this ammeter. This would only have about 0.04, something like that, going through it. OK, so we've got it set up. If I remind you again, you set up to go round to the ammeter. Ammeter goes round to the bulb. Bulb goes round to the variable resistor. And make sure you're just plugged in on those two ends there. Uh, variable resistor goes round to back to the power pack. And then your final thing that you do is you put your voltmeter over the lamp okay so don't put the voltmeter in until last the circuit should work without it you can turn your power pack up to 12 volts that's absolutely fine and so we're going to have a go at getting some results now just like before you're going to start with your variable resistor set at one end and you're going to move this bit along and as you move that bit along that will change the potential difference over the bulb so, two things we want to measure, potential difference in volts, and we also want to measure current in amps. Turning on this, we can see that the lamp's lit quite brightly. We've got a potential difference of 10.45, I'll record that, and we've got a current of 1.83. Okay, moving this along, We've got this time a current of 1.52 and a potential difference of 7.29. Then we'll continue to move this uh, along the potential divider and get some more results. Right, I got a full set of results. I did go back up because I realised once I'd done my first set of results that I had lots with low voltages, low, low potential difference, not so many with the high potential differences. So I went and I squeezed a couple more results in there. So that's my um, current. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to switch these over again. And as we switch these over, 
you can do the same experiment again, but this time it should be negative numbers on both your ammeter and your voltmeter. So once you've got all your results, plot them on a graph there. And this one shouldn't be a straight line. I'm expecting a nice smooth curve drawn through them. So have a go and see if you can construct a potential difference current graph for a filament bulb. <laughs>